the perfect Facebook marketing plan for 2020. Hey there, everyone. Everything worth doing takes a plan to get done, and latest Facebook marketing is no exception. And contrary to what lots of people believe, plans don't need to be complicated, convoluted mashes of unachievable, unrealistic goals. A streamlined, simplified plan full of actionable steps will always be your best bet. And today, we're going to show you the perfect Facebook marketing plan for 2020 and beyond. Set your goals straight. Start out by defining your Facebook marketing goals. What is it that you want to achieve by promoting your business on Facebook? No matter what your goal is, you have to make sure that it is achievable in a reasonable time and within your means. This means that you have to set goals that are realistic and that are consistent with your current capacities and budget. For instance, if you're just getting started, your goal shouldn't be to drive sales from the get-go, but to grow your brand's presence so people become aware that it exists. This is a realistic goal because unless you have a very large budget to freely spend on ads, the first step to make people want your products is to get them to know your brand first and then to make them familiar with your products so they trust you with a purchase. On the other hand, if you've been growing your presence for some time already but are struggling to drive sales, your goal should be to find out why you're not making sales yet and to improve your efforts. Then you can concentrate on making sales. So first step here is to look at what you have achieved so far and what you haven't achieved yet, and what things you need to improve, and then to define your goals accordingly. Learn about your audience. Unless your business offers a product or service with massive appeal, you can't just think of everybody as your audience. In fact, the more time you spend interacting with your would-be customers, the more you realize that your audience is a narrow segment of people with a particular interest or need that you fulfill. So, before you set out to create content and advertising campaigns, think of your perfect customer. Think of exactly who that person is who is likely to buy your product. Think of his needs. Think of his wants. Think of his social circle. Think of the place he lives in. Think of the type of content he consumes and the online places he visits. Now, visit the websites and social pages where that person hangs. Go to the online stores where he is more likely to buy his stuff. Then, learn about the people that hang on those places and create a customer profile based on matching attributes. That is going to be the average member of your audience. Establish an engagement strategy. Your engagement strategy is the combination of methods that you are going to use to interact with your audience and the methods you'll use to retain its attention. Now, while engagement strategies don't vary widely from one campaign to another, it is important to know that type of interaction and what type of platform your audience likes the most. In your case, you have to define what channel your audience favors first. This means you have to try whether you get the most engagement on your page or in your group. Once you define your engagement channel, you have to define what type of content your audience likes most. You find out with time, most likely during the first three to four weeks of posting content. It could be that your audience likes videos more, or infographics, or facts, or list articles. Once you define the content that your audience likes the most, you have to define how they like to communicate with you. In general, people simply love when you reply to their comments, and when you like or share relevant or funny comments. Establish a content schedule. It is vital that you establish a content schedule based on the type of content that your audience likes the most. So, if you find that your audience can't get enough of your videos, schedule one to two video posts a day at the right times. For more information on how to develop a content schedule the right way, check out Lesson 6, Creating a Facebook Content Marketing Calendar and Scheduling Posts. Determine your ad strategy. We mentioned elsewhere in this training before, but this is worth repeating. Your organic strategies are crucial, but they can only get you so far. If you don't want to limit the scope and reach of your Facebook marketing efforts, then you will have to invest in Facebook ads. And it is important that you define an ad strategy, again, based on the goals that you want to achieve. The good news is that an ads campaign can help you accelerate the process of achieving those goals, and you can launch ad campaigns that are optimized for each goal you want to achieve. So the step here is to determine at what stage of your latest Facebook marketing efforts you are and to launch a campaign to accelerate the objective. Involve your team. If you are working with a team, it is vital that you make it part of your Facebook marketing plan. Now, involving your team doesn't simply mean to get them to work on the strategy or to push them to their 100%. It means that you have to encourage them to be a part of your Facebook social activity. Give them incentives to share content from your page, to follow your pages, and to participate in your groups. By having your team actively participating with your brand on the platform, you can accelerate through leadership and organic relevance.